He's always quickest to the breakdown, so effective in this aspect of the game. Welcome to this week's Green Flag at the Breakdown. I'm here at Oval Park, the infamous training ground of the Leicester Tigers. And first up, I'm going to head inside into the shed and meet two of the gorillas, Dan Cole and Tom Youngs. The lads, you've been playing together for how long now? 10 years, more? Do you like to socialise with each other once training's finished? In fact, I wonder if Coley socialises anyone, to be honest. Coley lives like 250 metres away from the uh, training ground. So oh, really? You just sort of see him walking up the road, and that's about it. Do you walk in? Yeah. In the rain in the world, yeah. He's actually getting married to my cousin, so... Uh... Getting married? Yes. Oh, well, that's <laughs> 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 you know why I'm surprised? I'm only surprised because I saw the picture of you when you passed your driving test a couple of years ago. I've never forgotten it. I hope we can find that. Hell of a picture. Hell of a picture. Right, I'll give it to you later. Like You boys started playing together a long time ago. Of course, younger, you were a centre then. Yeah. The boys always had a little bit of crack and, to me and saying, oh, you should be you know, playing hooker. You're a hooker playing centre. Because you couldn't kick. Yeah. <laughs> so I couldn't kick or pass. I could just run very hard. You're a yeah. really fast hooker. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. And then Hanukkah Mayer, who's an African coach now, just sort of said, I want to give you, I think you can do it. Have a crack. So I had a crack. I spoke to Coley and a few other boys. And while well, I went, went into the gym for a couple of months, bulked up a bit, and then Actually, my first game, second team game against Gloucester, I came off the bench and actually Coley was dropping then, so it was nice to play with him. And then I went on my travels to Nottingham and played there for two seasons and came back in. Obviously, you would have helped him along the way, Coley, <laughs> but didn't you ever do any sort of demos behind the scenes that weren't on the training pitch? Yes. Uh, yeah, we were on, a, I think it was the 19s World Cup. Yeah. Just hanging out and deciding what it was like in a scrum, so um, packed out against him in my room. Um, yeah, one on one, and he moved out of the way, and I smashed into the desk. <laughs> <laughs> it's the armchair viewer's favourite sort of question: Who are the toughest guys to play against? And everyone finds one guy tough that another guy finds yeah, easy. That, that's the it's like conquers, isn't it? There's always one that yeah. can do you that might not yeah. do another. Well, there was this guy who split bath. Um, oh yeah, quite an old guy. The guy whose um, cranium you inserted into his own colon <laughs> in the semi-final. Duncan Bell puts it on Twitter like about once a month. He puts it on there. Great oh. memories, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking to the bench, thinking, I hope they change me for Nathan Cat because I am spent. I've done 50 or 60 here in the sun, and I'm quite fat. <laughs> and I'm at sick. least 12 in degrees. The sun, yeah. yeah, we go. Gave Castro a proper working over in that game, and he had. One good scrum after half time, and he stood up going, Thumb off! Thumb off! <laughs> to the crowd. I was like, Oh, where have you been for the last hour? The guys who are quite heavy, I've always found it a little bit difficult, but sometimes when they're heavy, they're not technically that great. If you get a good loose head hooker combo, it's a lot harder than just having a good loose head to me. Yeah. If you've got not so good hooker, you know, it's easier on tight for that one. And that day when you did so well against us, it was because of Lee Mears, wasn't it? It was awful, awful player. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the body of a 40 year old shot. <laughs> Sort of 20, 25 years time when you uh, hang up your boots, because uh, sometimes you will have to. Um, I always assume, Youngster, that you're going to go back to the farm. I'll go back to the, the farm, go back home to And how many acres do you farm? 1,500. That's not a ride on mower, that's tractor nah, jobs, nah. that's the lot. Good, good, good tractor as well. Oh, great, great. Yeah. Have you got any ideas yet? <laughs> he wants yeah, to be a traffic cop. Yeah. That's oh, what yeah? he really wants to be. Are you going to be one of the guys that on the like the reality TV shows? So you yeah. get the cameras up there yeah. and you drive around. Just yeah. talking to the camera. Mission accepted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll just go to France or something like that and just get some celebrity mates to just hang out with me. There's a big clamour for fourth place. Do you boys talk about that? We know we've got to win out basically to confirm a, a fourth spot. You know, it's in our hands at the minute. So yeah, you talk about it because you need to know that. You know, it's best to know the outcomes of what can happen. All right, good luck boys, hope it goes well. Cheers.